In parts one through five, we looked at all of the tools and all the potential. And now it's finally time to sit down and put those to use. Here I start with a sketch, refine the idea, use a little bit of 3D, although mainly it's Photoshop, and we go all the way to a finished illustration. I've chosen a subject that has lots of photographic details, so it's a really great opportunity to put some of these texturing skills to use. Now it's worth mentioning that I do not go into detail about individual tools. There's just not enough time. My focus is the process start to finish. And if you need a refresher on the tools, I'll encourage you to check out those earlier videos. So if you want to see how I work or just understand why you spent all this time learning these tools in the first place, the full demo is a great overview.